Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at all the puns. Hi. <laughs> I'm Dijon Ketchup, and I'm running Fire and Ice. And here's my couch. You'd like to... <laughs> sure. Hi, I'm Metroid Crime. Super excited to be here. <laughs> and I'm Char Bunny. Likewise, really excited for this run. All right. So, uh, we want to do like a brief explanation of the background of the game before we get into it. Sure. I mean, you're watching it on your screen if you're watching at home. Basically, there's Coolman's Island. It's a beautiful place, but evil fire wizard Drudel is coming to try to take everyone out. So ourselves, this novice wizard Dana is going to save everyone with our newly found ice magic. Yeah. All right. So if we're ready, uh, time is going to start in three, two, one. Yay. Good luck. Well, all right, so we're jumping right into World 1. There are 10 worlds in this game that we're playing for now, but of course, remember to donate towards that World 11 incentive to see more. So as you can see, we can kick ice, and it will move along the ground until it reaches something like fire, which it puts out, which is very convenient for us. Absolutely. Yeah. So World 1 is pretty simple. It's just kind of introducing you to the concept and mechanics of the game, the basics. There you go. Like there, you can see we can hold up ice. We are that strong. We can do that no matter how much is above us. And then we can climb up one block high barrier. So there we move the ice over, can climb up, and there we go. We're back on top. Fall damage does not exist, thankfully, so we don't have yep. to worry about that at all. Our only goal is on each of these levels to clear out every single bit of fire that we can possibly see. This is one of my favorite ones. Just, just Yeah. That's showing you how gravity works and all that. And it's a lot of, it's really cool. Um, it's cool, you say? Yep. <laughs> so something you'll notice there is if there are two blocks next to each other, we don't slide them. We actually have to, uh, they will block us. We have to climb up on top of them. And you just saw her use our ice powers for the first time. We can create or destroy ice in a block diagonally down from us. That is the only location where we can do this. So there we are creating a few to create a bridge. Here we'll drop one out so that we can crush that flame. And here we get to drop the entire rock. <laughs> Level one is pretty straightforward, but honestly, it looks really cool, so I'll enjoy it anyway. And as you can see, I am uh, cosplaying Dana a bit here with my hat. <laughs> Looking great. <laughs> and I've got my my fire on my uh, WarioWare Ashley shirt. Right. I apologize, chat. I was not aware of the red theme, so you'll have to forgive me. <laughs> Just pretend the pink Kirby stuff is red and we're good to go. Um, but here you start to see even more puzzling action. So as we place ice next to a wall, it will freeze and attach to the wall. So that's going to be useful for a whole bunch of stuff, including bridges, staircases, all of that. Uh, this is a puzzle game. So this is a lot of very fast solutioning. Obviously, this is not the first time Dijon's playing this. So, you know, we're going to have some fast solutions coming through. But that is what the game is for. And it does get very tricky as we get later on. This game was released pretty late in the NES life cycle. I think it came out in 1993. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So pretty awesome. Excited to show it today. And um, Fire and Ice uh, wasn't originally called Fire and Ice. But, uh, <laughs> in Japan and Europe, uh, this game is actually called um, Solomon's Key 2. Um, if you've ever played the original Solomon's Key, um, this is quite a bit different uh, than that. It is. We can't jump, we only climb, we got our ice powers and everything. So we're on to the first boss. Um, this time. So in this one, there's flames at the bottom of the screen that you can see, which is dangerous. They're going to keep rising towards us as you hear the boss music kick in, so we know so it's good. serious. And we definitely don't want those flames to catch up to us. We are not a ice block, but we're not super resistant to fire either. So we kind of want to get around those. So you can see we climb all the way up, create our ice block, fall down, and we've beaten our first boss. Congratulations, world Dang. one down. Um, you'll notice these in-between scenes. This story actually is um, told by a grandmother to two children. <laughs> yeah. It's like a story lore. within a story. Yeah. yeah. With your we're in world two, you can see things are ramping up a little bit. We're learning how to go up and down, climb, leave spots for us to climb. But since this is mostly a refresh of world one, how about we get some donations in? Oh, I am so ready. I want chat to hit me with so many puns. Uh, we have a $5 donation from Smokey of the Sun. Shouldn't it be pronounced what tails? I can't even do it. What tails? Like fatals? No, what tails? Should it be pronounced Watals like Fatals? <laughs> oh, is that what <laughs> Not that's sure if it's be? just me. Let's get these bonus stages unlocked. 
absolutely chat. We need to do that. I have a b- burning desire for fire puns and any pun in general. <laughs> and we are sitting at $612 of the $2,000 needed to make Dijon Ketchup play that additional bonus World 11. Let's go. Let's go indeed. That's yeah. fantastic. So, it's really uh, hard to say have... with towels. <laughs> I suggest everyone out there try it out loud what right that now. Was supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> but as you can see, each world has uh, its own unique um, music, flames, tiles, background, all of that. Uh, they went pretty hard on that. Um, <laughs> right, it's a lot of detail for this type of game. The, yeah. the soundtrack in this game is fantastic. My favorite track is the one on the map screen that we don't get to hear much <laughs> of because we're going fast and immediately. That's very fair. Yeah, we got to make it through all these levels and everything. We really want to see World 11, by the way. Um, yes. Something that those of you at home may not know is that Crime and I have been practicing. We've each got our notes ready for this run, and we walked into studio today, and we found out that there's a World 11. Neither of us knew that this game had a World 11. We have never seen those levels before, so we want to see them just as much as you do. Yes. And we'll be live reacting to whatever the heck they have to hold. So please get that met, because I want to see what they are. I've seen World 10, and it's already a lot, so I can't wait to see what World 11 looks like. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm so yeah. excited, too. Let's get there. Right? <laughs> Yeah, this this game has um, actually five bonus worlds. Um, the incentive is just for World One because um, <laughs> it would have been a long long time to do all five. Um, there you can see, by the way, we had to create a new ice block. The ones that we would have put there would have been stuck to the wall. So you have to make one, scoot it over, and then drop it down. Just getting more into those puzzle elements that make this game stand out. And, of course, make it a little bit complicated. We were talking earlier about how far we think we would have gotten. I think I can maybe do this world before my puzzle skills would have capped out. I would have needed to call Absolutely. it a friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I played this as a kid, I think I got through w- World 2, and then that was about it. Yeah, there's just so much going. And especially, it's not just that you need to figure out how to get to each individual fire, but the order of operations for these is incredibly important. You have to go right first on this level, otherwise you can't get back out. There's no space on the left side to get back out. And even on the right, you had to create nice blocks so you could climb back up again. There's so much thinking ahead that has to go on to correctly plan all your movements in order so you don't end up stuck anywhere. Very, very easy to get trapped by things in this game. Definitely. Yeah. I love the little ice blocks down too. Just yeah. think, think. <laughs> and um, if one of you would like to explain uh, why I go as far in one direction as possible before turning around. Yeah, absolutely. So movement in this game is very frame or tile based, where every action must resolve before the next action can happen. There's no canceling out of things. So one, you'll see us move around like that. But two, as we move to the right and left, turning around does count as a action. So we want to avoid turning as much as possible and sort of go all the way to one side before we go all the way to the other. Yeah, the game uh, basically devotes a frame to um, Oh, this is our second type of boss level. We can talk about this one. So in the last boss level, the flames are moving up. Now the flames are just moving. Now the good news is we are talking about resolving out. You already beat it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. A uh, key Let's thing go. there is the flames stop moving until the action's resolved, so it's more possible to hit them, but it's still a little tricky. But that brings us into World 3. Do you want to talk a bit about World 3? Um, yeah, this this world kind of ramps up the concepts a little bit. It wants you to explore the space available to you. Uh, a lot more so than other levels, kind of building on our existing um, game mechanics. Exactly. Yeah. Some of the earlier levels, you maybe had to build like one staircase, maybe maybe two things. In this case, now you're having to do a lot more work to construct your own pathway through some of these levels as you move around and try to get to different places. And again, you look where we're going to drop down there. We can't get stuck down there until we're absolutely ready to go. So you got to make sure everything's all set up so that as soon as you do this last action, they're gone. You drop down too soon, you're stuck between two flames, and that's not a good spot to be. With this one, I think we got time for a quick update or two from our host. I've got updates. We have $50 from Fierce Wolf back from work just in time for some relaxing NES puzzling, less than three. How about we add another level in there? 
I agree. Again, we have that Play Bonus World 11 incentive. We just have to the end of this run to get there. We're currently sitting at $612 of $2,000 needed to see this Bonus World. But this Bonus World 11 comes with 10 levels. It's going to be excellent. I have never seen it before either, and I would love to see it met. Um, $1,400 to go. We can do it. We're also approaching $34,000. We only need $275 more dollars to get to $34K. We're, we're moving along. I want to see Waluigi cosplay, and I want to see Bonus World 11. I also want to see both of those things, <laughs> even though I have to put on a Waluigi cosplay to make one of them happen. <laughs> Chat, oh, donate to make Char Buddy put on a Waluigi costume. Let's go. I'll just keep going, <laughs> wah, wah, until it happens. I'm just going to let the chat know that the other runner, Geneticist, literally walked into studio today with a bag labeled Waluigi gear. <laughs> so we got to make sure that's worth it. <laughs> Jazz to Jen. Um, we're back in World 3, though. We should talk about the game a little bit. So right there, you'll notice in the middle section, we put two blocks together. That's because if there's only one block, we would push things. So watch as we go up there, we can actually climb those two blocks. Whereas if there was only one of them, we would have pushed it off the side. We would have been left very sad with no way to get up in the level. So this is one of those thinking ahead moments where it might not make sense at first what we were up to. But once you take a look at it a second time, it starts to become more clear what we're trying to accomplish and why we have to go in that specific order. With level six, once again, order of operations. This one's kind of like a juggling fest. Do you want to talk a bit about it or do you want me to cover this one? You can cover this one. Okay, yeah, got yeah. it. So you'll see that we go back and forth here and we sort of pin the fire to one side with that ice sticking to the wall and then we do the other side. And now we're going to go back to the first side again. You might be thinking, why the heck are we doing this? But the key is that we need the fire to be ready for us to drop while we are on the correct side of the level to finish it off. You'll notice we can't finish it off from the left side. There's nowhere to push ice. But if we climb up on the right side after pinning it to the right side wall and disconnecting it from the left side wall, then we can actually finish it off. 27 seconds just to get rid of one, one flame. Right. <laughs> It's amazing how some of the levels with a ton of flames aren't actually the most complicated. It's just those brain teasers right there where you got everything at once. Also, you'll notice uh, I put an ice block through a corner. It's one of those things the game doesn't explain to you and like you just kind of either have to figure it out by accident or something because like... Yep. It's required, but... Yeah. I gotta go for it. You may notice a lot of the early worlds are very much designed to force you to learn how certain mechanics work. This one's a little trickier, but we got it. So that's another good thing to be aware of. I like how they're in their little, little mountain over here on the right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just kind of destroy it. All right, with level nine here, we've got a right side. Got to get some column dropping. We just kind of got to fall down there. There's only one block of ice. If we push it over the flame, we're fine. But it's a little tricky to maneuver and make sure that we get down without having anything fall down with us. Because if anything fell down with us, then, you know, we're stuck once again. I think that brings us to our next boss fight. Do you want to cover the boss fight? Uh, sure. Um, so this is a different type of boss stage. It wraps around. Um, so we actually end up going a little bit faster than the level wrap, um, <laughs> which makes it um, so that yeah, we're just, just a little bit. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you can't just basically go wait. Off screen, You're just so. kind of waiting at the top and then climbing over. <laughs> yeah. How was your day? All that sort of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Speed runs, that's always a good yeah. for me at least. Yeah. But yeah, so the first boss was the flames climbing up from the bottom. They just did that, but fancier now because yeah. puzzle game. Got to keep adding on to things. It it um, alternates each world, the type of boss. Right. And this brings us to a new mechanic, pipes. Pipes work like you'd expect them to in a video game, which is you go into them on one end, you come out of them on the other end. So zoop, there we go. I like the little pipe animation too. Yeah, this game is just so cute. Yeah. Uh, Tecmo, who made this game, I believe also made uh, the Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle games, which also have oh. uh, very similar pipes. Fun. I like that bridge where we just drop them down one at a time. Each one gets their own individual little parachute as we go down. <laughs> and again, the flames in every single world are different. I don't like these ones because they have fangs for some reason, which is yeah. not a trait I think fire should ever have. <laughs> but feel free to donate and let us know what your favorite or least favorite flames are in this game because there are plenty to choose from. Oh, There are shoot. so many good flames. Okay. I had messed up and had to restart. Um, I'm going to donate $5 every time I have to restart. 
with, I'll match with you the, on that. That's good. With the caveat that if I uh, accidentally like bankrupt myself, I may have to <laughs> like cut it off somewhere. <laughs> oh my goodness! And real quick, Tazel, I'm sorry. I think we cut you off. Yeah, it's okay. I was just gonna say if I could wah interject, um, <laughs> I'd like to give us some updates here. Also, Absolutely. I'm gonna be like the genie in Aladdin and say no more freebies. If you want to hear me wah, you have to donate to hear oh. me wah. Give me your wah puns, your wah limericks, and I will wah to your heart's content. Like this $25 donation from EDL666, which reads, wah, wah. <laughs> so please chat. If we could wah our way to Bonus World 11, please make sure you select that incentive when donating your wahs. Thank you very much. So, <laughs> four three is the reason that the Japanese version has a separate category. Um, because it has an extra chamber that was removed in the uh, U.S. and European versions because uh, it looked like... Um, like a symbol that we don't want to... Yeah. yeah. Just something yeah. that doesn't need to be on stream. So it's yeah. good that they yeah. removed it. It does simplify it, but that does mean there's a change between the different categories, so... Split leaderboard makes a lot of sense. I love how much ice we have to stack up for those two flames as time Yeah. <laughs> It's such a compact level there. Yeah. And it gets even more complicated right. later on. Yeah. And order of operations on this one is crucial, by the way. Unless you start where Dijon started, you don't get to finish this level. Like, you have to go in that order as you set things up and sort of maneuver around. The, like I call it around the clock because we just sort of move yeah, in. Yeah, clockwise direction. Oh, yeah, it? counter, is it? Yeah, I guess that's counterclockwise. Yeah. <laughs> I clearly haven't looked at a, like, non-digital clock. <laughs> <laughs> Not to worry about that though. Um, with this one, this is something that we talked about earlier where you can optimize by going as far to one direction as you can before turning around because that turnaround does count as a movement that takes up one action, which is sort of what is what slows us down if we take too many of them. So we do want to optimize by minimizing as many times as the game wants to wait for us. But basically stack up a whole bunch of stuff, get everything all sorted. There's so much prep work that goes into every single one of these fire Absolutely. kills. It's amazing. And yeah, we're only on uh, world four. And the game throws something else here at us that's not intuitive, which is that you can actually climb up a block and into a pipe. So it looks like we shouldn't be able to return on this pipe, but no, mm -hmm. we're fine. I hate that mechanic <laughs> so much. Like, it seems very silly. <laughs> Yeah, counterintuitive. Exactly. exactly. To yeah, everything else that the game's explained to us thus far. Because, <laughs> right? like, when I played through the full game for the first time as an adult, mm -hmm. um, I got so stuck on that level, I had to look up the solution, and I saw the climbing up in, into the pipe. Yeah. And I was just like, I hate this. I hate everything. <laughs> That's fair. Here we're stacking a whole bunch of ice so we don't get stuck, but it's a little bit longer. So, Halsey, you want to sneak in like another donation or another update here? I absolutely do. I, I'm calling for fire and ice puns. Someone has taken me up on it. You're the best. We have a $5 donation from Smokey of the Sun. It says, you want fire and ice puns? Gotcha. Don't get charred while creating Metroid Rhyme. Showing off your <laughs> blazing speed. Don't forget to stay cool. I am so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for awesome. that one. It was incredible. It. Please, please send more of those. We are, oh my goodness, we're $185 away from 34K. Make sure when donating to this wonderful cause that you click add bonus world 11 to your donation so that we can see more fire and ice because I love puzzles chat. Let's go. Absolutely. Here, by the way, speaking of puzzles, that top left pipe, we just don't use it. Yep. Sometimes the level just throws stuff in here to be confusing. It's like, yeah. all right, cool. There are there are several stages that have red herrings in them. Yeah. Um, this next boss is what we call awful. God, yeah. <laughs> so this is more moving enemies. And again, they do freeze when we try to move stuff into them. So that helps us hit them. But there's just so many. There's fire at the bottom of the screen. And it takes forever to do. And if we mess up, then we get to start over. And that's sad because this is a long level. So to let Dijon focus, how about we do more donations, more updates for the entirety of this level? Sounds fantastic. We have $50 from Skiles had to donate for this beautiful NES game. Thanks for showing it off. And thank you for that donation. We also have $5 from Crateris. There once was a game Solomon's Key. 
For North America, they wanted a name that was more flashy. They chose Fire and Ice. They thought it was nice. Now let's get some tacos for Waluigi. <laughs> that was so good. Chat, you're amazing. And so, yes, so all donations towards National Women's Law Center, and when you select that bonus World 11 Fire and Ice incentive, also go towards our milestone, the Wah Tales Takeover to make Geneticist and Char Bunny cosplay Waluigi for their Waluigi's Taco Stand run. It's going to be amazing. Keep getting those donations in. Thank you so much. Yeah, you can see this level is just long. We're still, we're still going over here. But we're almost done. I do feel a little bit bad when we trap these things and they kind of panic for a second. Like, <laughs> But that's all right. We cleared out. World 4 down. Great job. Making good progress here. With World 5, we don't really introduce too many new mechanics here. It's mostly advanced versions of stuff we've been working on. So you can see pipes are now kind of stacked differently. We have a whole bunch of flames. These ones just look the most confused. I know. I'm a huge fan of these ones. <laughs> <laughs> the flames are pretty good. They're good. Oh, I'm, like we said earlier, I'm so amazed at how much work they put in to make every single world feel a bit different. Yeah. Does, does the bonus world have unique flames as well? Um, I think there's a couple of... Okay. Um, like later on that use some unused flame sprites. Ooh, all right. You gotta donate for that World 11 incentive. We really want to see that one happen. All right, so this one we do a whole staircase down. Look at that. Push one block and we climb all the way back up. <laughs> just keep going, yeah. just keep going. And then we go all the way down and then we delete that one block. <laughs> like, that's the yep. puzzle. But it's important because we can't really delete it easily from the spot it was in and we need to get rid of it, so that just works. Uh, with this one, we just get to go round and round a whole bunch. Yep. We have pipes, we're going to use them. This is another one of those, like I mentioned earlier, exploring the space, really sort of thinking in and trying out a bunch of different things. So, whoop, and then we go here, we go around again. <laughs> kind of fun. Wee. Wee. The watch. Taking ice. Taking names. We are. It's so amazing just how much thought got has rid to of go that into ice block just to put it right back. I know, right? But you got to get in the pipe to get high again. Because remember, we can't jump in this game. We have to climb mm -hmm. up only one block at a time. So we need to always be building our way back out of any pit that we try to land ourselves in. With this one, uh, it is simpler than it looks. There's a whole right side alcove on the screen, and we just don't use that. It's there. It's it there looks, to throw it you looks off. Nice, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of makes it look like a face a little bit. You guys. <laughs> Got some shapes around here. But yeah, no, we can just climb down without that one. It's just decorative. Sometimes yeah. the levels will have extra details in them, things like that. Again, it throws you off, but it looks nice. Now we're getting more flames per level here. Right. Yeah, worlds one through three go by really, really fast. As we get towards the later worlds, there's more and more to do in each one, so they do take a little bit longer. Yeah, this one is heavily based on order of operations. And this one sure, yeah. right here is just really silly because you got to get rid of this just so we can drop that down and... Put it back. Put it back so we can push one over here just to get rid of it again and drop <laughs> down. <laughs> oh, poor block. Can't decide if it's there or not. No, I also Get love that mood. we were sent to save the entire island and the magical ice power we got was create a single block. <laughs> That's still, to be fair, more magic than I could do, so I shouldn't complain too much. But, <laughs> I don't know. All right, uh, so lots of pipes in this one, as it turns out. I like the, the J-shaped one. That's my favorite. Do you have a favorite pipe in this level? <laughs> I, I can't say that. That's a hard <laughs> choice. Yeah, yeah, you know, like... <laughs> There's... <laughs> I can't say I've ever thought about what my favorite pipe is. Chat, don't even tell us your favorite pipe in this level. Uh, my... But this one's a... Yeah, go ahead, tell us. I was going to say my favorite pipe is the one that leads the donations towards playing Bonus oh. World 11. That's my That's favorite good. pipe. I got a little ahead of myself there on this, trying to solve the puzzle there, so... Oops. That's fair. With this one, you have to set up a lot of landing platforms for the different pipes, because obviously they'll just drop you down. Gravity is mm -hmm. an effect. So setting up those landing platforms so that you can build up the ice and build those platforms to get to all the flames is kind of a big theme in this level. So you'll notice anytime we have pipes, we may or may not be running around trying to make sure we have something to land on when we come out of them so we can continue to, you know, play the video game. But there we go. See? Cleared it yeah. out just fine. 
So for this next one, we need to strategically drop a flame in order to set it up and take it out. So you'll notice that it's right there. It's chilling. We could try to drop it now. But the problem is if we try to drop it from the wrong spot, we won't be on the right side to take it out. So the issue here is Put both... in the wrong spot. <laughs> There's so much going on with this. I'm amazed at how many things you have going on at any given point in time. Yeah, it's... Uh... Surprisingly, it's it's not super easy to memorize a uh, hundred puzzle solutions <laughs> and then recall them on command. Can't possibly imagine why. Like even uh, the world record run for this has like at least one retry. That's very fair. Yeah. yeah, that was all set up just to get that one flame down with us on the correct left side of it in order to be able to do it. Yo, dog, we heard you like pipes. <laughs> just Have a, a pipe with your here. pipe. <laughs> There's just so many little L's it's just all over the place. Just taking L's. No, we don't want to take L's. Attention. L's are not the right takes. We want W's. No, no, the flames w's. are taking the L's. Oh, okay, okay. Flames are taking okay. L's. We're taking L's. How about we get some donations in for a W as well? I, I would also, yes, to absolutely 100%. We have $10 uh, from Anonymous. No comment, but thank you very much for your donation. I would like to emphasize the urgency we have here on bonus world 11 which needs to be met by the end of this run so we have i'm gonna say 45 minutes at the most chat and i want to see more retro puzzling because it is one of my favorite things in the entire world so to do that i'm going to share i want to hear your cursed taco donations i will share to you what i have made as a cursed taco and you donate me with your cursed taco versions. This might be offensive, so I apologize in advance, but I can't eat gluten chat. So sometimes when I have leftover tacos and I have nothing else to put in them, I take a hot dog and I take my gluten-free hot dog and I put it in a taco shell and I put mustard on it and I eat it. That is my cursed taco. I have just shared my inner soul with you chat. So please, Tell me what your cursed taco is while you donate towards Bonus World 11 for Fire and Ice. Yeah, um, I kind of want to hear those. I'm kind of scared. So either way, <laughs> Jeff, let me know what are those cursed tacos. Um, but we're back on another boss level once again. It's because it alternates. This one is one of those wraparound ones where we just keep climbing. We're trying to make sure we meet cycles so that we don't leave the fire where we have to wait for the screen to scroll around again in order to get back to it. This one's not too wild though. This is one of the simpler ones in terms of all the logic that goes on with it. So you can see it's just moving around, hopping around, setting things up. Yeah, they'll, they'll get a bit more intense for the last couple that we've got. And that's a fun long ice bridge. Some of these later levels we get some really cool we're, ice bridges just spanning entire continents basically. We're, we're Pangea up in here. <laughs> Gotta be ready for that. All right, World 6 introduces a new mechanic. Do you want to talk about that one? Yeah, uh, it introduces jars. Um, jars are either on fire or not. <laughs> Sorry, most things. Yeah. <laughs> Currently, we're not on fire. Yeah, just yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> um, a jar not on fire is like any other block. Um, fire jars will melt ice on top of them and they will kill Dana, so we got to be careful about that. Um, and a flame landing on top of a jar on fire... Um, sets the jar on... Sorry, a, a flame landing on a jar that's not on fire will set that jar on fire. Absolutely. And this will create some trickiness with that order of operations that we've been talking about. For example, here, as soon as those two flames drop, which we need to because there's nowhere to get above them, they're going to set those jars on fire. And very quickly, that means that we cannot go past that area. So you'll notice we have to set things up to make sure that we are on the right place to take out these flames so that we're not having to cross this fire zone in the middle. So you'll see us go up, go around again. Here we can drop the second one, and now we can come in from the right side to take this one out. Very nice. Round and round. I know, it's just, mm -hmm. We get to tour so much of these levels as we go through them, which is always fun. I also like how in some of these levels they've given a little border to the screen. Like, they didn't need to do anything with the extra space. Yeah. You can't get out of bounds, but it looks nice. I think it's kind of cute. <laughs> But yeah, so once again, jar in the middle of the screen, currently unlit, but as you'll notice throughout, jars don't tend to stay very unlit. This game likes setting things on fire, is a theme that I've personally <laughs> noticed with it, so that always makes things a little bit trickier. Yeah. Thinking through this one. Hang on. I blanked a bit on the solution here. Uh... Wow. Like I said, <laughs> memorizing uh, 
Okay. Yep. You got we're, it. We're back on track. I just, <laughs> Excellent. I had to think about it for a moment. Right. And it's one of those things where, again, if you make a wrong move, you're trapped. You can't finish the level. You have to reset from the beginning of it. That's not fun for speedruns. <laughs> for always seeing a speedrun before, resetting is not this, super fun. This is like one of my favorite levels. <laughs> uh, if you saw the chomp this morning, uh, Swift pointed that out. Yeah, you can see we only have one flame to deal with, so you wouldn't think it'd be too bad, but we don't have a way to get to it. And obviously the bottom of the screen's pretty impassable. They could have just made that something else, but only just chose all fire, because of course, <laughs> we're building the staircase, you'll notice we dropped two blocks down there so that we can actually climb up it without pushing it, and that's what finally unlocks us to get to the left side of the screen there. It's just, it's such an interesting solution to me that it just makes one of my favorite levels. Right, and this one, we have a goal, which is to make a block. And we're going to do a lot of work to make that block. There's a lot yep. of other blocks involved in setting this one singular block up. But that's it. That's part of the game. Right? Yep. There's a block. So that block right there is what we need. I have to go all the way back around. <laughs> other side of the screen. Up. As one does. As one does. Exactly. Because that block is there for us to do this. And voila, we have a stair. Ta-da! We just need something to stop the momentum so it wouldn't just shoot into the fire because it would have continued. Speaking of momentum, oh, we don't want to stop. We want to keep that momentum going towards the Bonus World 11 Fire and Ice incentive, which means at the end of this run, Dijon Ketchup would play Bonus World 11, which is a full 10 levels of silliness. I want to see it, chat, but we only have until the end of this run. We're also creeping so ever so close to that $34,000 raised for the National Women's Law Center. We're only $110 away from that. We can do all of these things at the same time with your donations, chat. Like this $25 from Maj Danvers. No comment, but thank you very much for the donation. Thank you so much. And yes, please, Bonus World 11. We want to see more of this game. It's so incredible. Yeah. They, they put some of the silly stuff in uh, the bonus worlds. So there you notice, by the way, we stacked ice underneath the flame so that we wouldn't catch the jar on fire right away because we needed to be able to get across. And then once we've taken care of its friend, we can leave the flame to set the jar on fire and continue onward. Yeah. Here's another staircase building level. Anytime you enter a level and there's like 10 million <laughs> ice blocks on screen, it's like, oh gosh, this is going to be a level, huh? <laughs> But in this case, again, we need to be able to get up to where that one is at the top without dealing with, you know, the horde of fire at the bottom. I'm not a huge fan of fire pits, personally. Yeah, no. I know. <laughs> a huge fan of most pits in general. Like fire or not, but this is definitely a fire and ice uh, Yeah, no, I messed that up. Ah. That's, that's $10. <laughs> this is one that I just always have trouble remembering. No kidding, because there's so much ice here and it all kind of looks the same after a while. So getting the order perfectly right every single time is just so much to be dealing with. Oh. And this isn't even the worst set of ice that we will see, by the way. Uh, there is a more icy level that we will see later on that just kind of exists. That's Ooh. super fun. I've got a cursed taco donation. All right, we're donation. up to 15. All right, let's do well, a taco let's donation. Go. Yeah. We Give me have a second to think of it. $25 from Taro Terror Fecta. I once used cream cheese instead of sour cream accidentally. It wasn't that bad. I've also used scrambled eggs as the protein for tacos when I realized I didn't have any meat left. I will tell you, scrambled eggs for a taco is great. I make breakfast tacos all the time. There we Sounds go. Sounds delicious. Thank you for your donation. Very nice. Thank you for sharing your taco yeah. uh, story with us. Appreciate that. We're here for all your taco needs. <laughs> <laughs> just the theme of today, isn't it? So nice job getting past that one. We are now on one with a bit of a unique strat where we need to pin the ice against the wall, replace it so it sticks, and then put it back. Like, the ice against the wall thing is just always so complicated. So here we go. Push the ice yeah. over. So we climb this and then delete that and put it right back. So now it's stuck. And then we can use it to do that because we need to make a stack. There we go. Nice. And that brings us to our next boss fight. Would you like to talk about it? Or would you like me to? Either way is fine. <laughs> um, okay, so I like these enemies a lot. Okay. Um, these aren't flames, but they behave like flames, and uh, but they go vertically. Um, 
Yeah, this is like basically cycles. Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, yeah. It's like we've got these cycles. We have Sorry, boxes that's really of ice, funny. so that's close enough. <laughs> and boxes yeah, of ice. We have mm -hmm. to like dodge everything around, so it's difficult to like move through and make sure we don't get hit. But it's very cycle based as a result. Yeah. Again, yeah. the saving grace here is that when we take an action, the game does not move on until that action is resolved. So you see, everything freeze when we kick the ice at it. So we kick the ice here. Nothing. Or we don't actually do that yet. There we go. Nothing else moves. We had to make sure it was on our side of that gap. Otherwise, we'd stick an ice down there, trap ourselves, and just be kind of miserable. Yeah. Here we are setting up additional things. Oh, you can see those two enemies down at the bottom are going to be so much fun to deal with. Oh, just chilling down there without a care in the world. They don't even Here's know our friend, the that. up into the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it looks so silly every time, but like, no, that's, that's how it works. That's the rule. Here we set one up so we can come around and drop it from this side so we're on the right side of it so we can push it to the left. And I need to dropped. wait so that... There. Traps it. Here we go. Let's go. And there we go. Oh, okay. I love when we hit the point where I can see the solution because then I know we're really yeah. close to it. <laughs> Takes a little while. All right, we get some really cool flames here. Yeah. They've got sunglasses. The, these are the best, the, honestly. The best flames. Yeah. They're so I think so good. too. Yeah. Just look at them. They're so adorable. <laughs> we can't see their eyes, which may be disappointing for the child <laughs> server right now. But that's okay. That's a whole separate thing. That's not going to stop them. Yeah. It's true. True. <laughs> I've seen some of the stuff they've put eyes on. <laughs> true. Oh my goodness. But yeah, so once again, as things we get further in the game, the creativity of the level starts to ramp up. And you may have started to pick up on some of the patterns of how the game finishes off levels, how we set things up for success. Um, these two are fine. The next one is going to be a little bit trickier. But for now, like, you got to stack a few things. You'll sort of notice that that's a big pattern, stacking back and forth and back and forth. I also like how there's a separate animation for when you're crawling in a one block space where you like, yeah. It's, yeah. it's just so cute. <laughs> All right. Those Excited fire flames look this. like they want to be in a taco. They do. That would be pretty <laughs> cool. I think hot sauce is one of the bid war ingredients if we can unlock that one. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> but we need to get the fire and ice bonus all source. Okay. This is the worst level in the game. Look at I hate it. This. Uh, would you like serious time for this one? <laughs> yes, please. All right. We're going to chill for a second. Does serious time mean host too serious? Mm -hmm. I think we'll go full calm serious. We're going to keep it chill for this one. But we'll come back to you soon, I promise. Oh, okay. First oh try. Goodness, oh, oh, yes. Nice. Very nice, nice job. job. I can exhale now. That one is so scary. Oh, mm -hmm. my gosh. Right, uh, this one is Bridge Simulator. So, not too bad once you sort of get the hang of it. But as you can see, once again, we have a pit of fire across the bottom of the screen. So, that means we're going to have to make a lot of our own platforms in order to navigate back and forth across this space. We got two flames, and they decided they are not friends whatsoever, and they got to hang out all the way on opposite sides of the level. Unlike Crime and I, who are friends yeah, and are hey. safe. <laughs> this could be a much more convenient level, but right. no, they had to have a personal <laughs> problem and go on opposite ends of the world. But here we do all that work in order to get the one on the left, and that's going to let us finally start to set things up to get over here to the one on the right, since we have that little ice section bridge ready to go, which is very convenient for us. Um, as we finish up this level and do the next few, though, Tazla, I do want to come back to you here. Possibly how tacos are going, possibly how everything else is going. Not quite sure what to expect at this point. Well, you certainly can expect this $25 anonymous donation, which reads, Wah! <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> you. Please accepting any and all wahs. We'll read them in however you would like me to read a wah. I am, you know, willing to do 
Oh, please. Any chat. sort of law. Please so, send in like sad laws, heartfelt laws. I would like to hear some law variety here just to see what that sounds like. I'm very curious right now. My soul is prepared for law variety. I would like to give us an update though as well. We are at roughly $700 of the 2000 we need for that bonus world 11 for Fire Nine. So that needs to be met by the end of this run. So we have maybe 30 minutes chat. I know you can do it. I believe in you and I want to see bonus world 11. With that, we are only $62 from 34K. Who is going to get us to 34K raise for the National Women's Law Center? And on top of that, all of your donations are going to the Milestone Wah Tales Takeover to make That's Char 20. Bunny and Geneticist <laughs> cosplay Waluigi for Waluigi's taco stand. We gotta get there, chat. Let's go. Send me your yes. wa variations. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to hear these chat. Please send them in. <laughs> oh my goodness. And yeah, we definitely want to get that milestone. And you can also, again, donate towards bonus world 11. Uh, we're going pretty fast. You may want to pick up the pace here to make sure we can see that at the end of this run. So it's going to be super cool. Uh, that wasn't intentional. <laughs> was I'm gonna say. roll with it anyway. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be fire. I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> I forgot to put drop this block the last oh, time, so that's I why see. I had to restart. Got it. I know that's what's so tricky is like any single thing out of order completely throws off the the gameplay. Mm -hmm. And here we have another one of those really compact levels where everything's just sort of squished together. And these are the ones that terrify me the most because that means that your brain has to be on overdrive. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be thinking about all the different spots where ice can get stuck, where it's not stuck, all of that. So you can see here us going up, creating a block, having to like not have blocks because again the ice is there. So oh, got to manufacture a few to slide over. Go. It just seems so cramped. Like, mm -hmm. we need an upgrade. We need to move to a bigger place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then again, the game takes place over the course of an entire island. So I'm not quite sure what the real estate market is like on Cool Mint Island, <laughs> but I have been watching a lot of like the real estate shows in the hotel because that's just like one of my chill travel <laughs> things. It's great. Please don't aim for geneticist in the taco stand run because she's been forced to watch random, <laughs> random house hunting episodes with me. I didn't give her the option not to, and she's been very polite about it. <laughs> It'd be helpful to give her a break. Ooh. Do you have any other donation? I think we got time for one more here before we move on to the next level. Yes, absolutely. We have $25 from Blupa. Had a lovely time playing Chip and Dale earlier, but I was almost two minutes overestimate. So here is $25 to make up for it. Less than three. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. That was a really cool run. If you yeah. missed that, you're going to have to check the VOD later. And that also, by the way, is part of this game's block. Uh, <laughs> you should have pointed out earlier yeah. that this is the apostrophe N block. We had Chip and Dale, and now we have Fire and Nice. And it's not and. It is specifically apostrophe N on that title screen, so it counts. <laughs> Uh, with this level, though, it is pretty long, and the key thing here is building up staircases and then unbuilding those staircases. As you can see, when you have levels that go in circles where you have to set up a lot of things, we make a lot of stuff and then we delete a lot of stuff, which is part of how this this game like destroys my brain. Oh yeah, try yeah. to keep up with. Okay, why did we do this? Why did we do this? It's like 50 moves later. It's like, oh, that's why that one ice block from you know 30 seconds ago was important. Yeah, oh, yeah. Goodness. I gotta break in to say that we have reached yes. thirty-four thousand yes. dollars raised Amazing. for the National <laughs> Women's Law Center. Way to go, chat! And I can see certain donations coming in. I'm very excited. <laughs> Let me oh. know when you have time. <laughs> All right, I think maybe after this next boss, we're coming up on our boss soon. So actually, no, do you want to sneak one in now? Yeah, okay. one yes, in now. yes, Bye. absolutely. We have $10 from Bats, who has requested a broken heart boss. That's so tragic. <laughs> that was beautiful. I'm sorry for laughing. <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh. please send in more of those. I really, really want to hear more of those. That's incredible. Uh, by the way, we do that top left, left one is last because anytime you see that little pattern there, that little type of box, we're just kind of stuck. But this is our next boss fight. Woo! Uh, I believe it's another scrolling one. The key thing here is it's it's pretty tight one cycle. So we need to make sure we're staying focused and getting all the actions done here before everything cycles around and we sort of lose our opportunity to take out some of these really cool flames. They're I so keep cool. Keep getting distracted by the sunglasses. I know, I love them. 
I like how you had sunglasses. <laughs> I, I wish now that I'd brought sunglasses, like so pull them out of this world. But I'm not that cool, as it turns out. But I did bring my Waluigi hat, so donate towards the milestone, please. That corner block I put here is a surprise tool that will help us later. Oh, exciting! I'm intrigued. I'm just watching this one block. Yeah. The key thing is, I believe we noted, but the flame is coming off the bottom screen. We'll take out Dana, our hero here, and they, we can't place ice on top of them. And if we slide ice into them, the ice will melt. So that's something we got to watch out for on these like loopity doopity boss levels. And yeah, there, it's got a weird quirk to it, which um, if you have ice on the screen already and the flames go by it, it won't delete it. <laughs> but if you drop it on where the flame level is, it will melt. Because of course. Uh, this actually does introduce our new mechanics, so we'll do donations a little bit later just to make sure we can talk about this one. This is black ice, packed ice, yeah, heavy ice. Feel free to name your favorite type of ice here. And the key thing is this ice only moves one block at a time, so it doesn't slide over everything unless the ground below it is ice. It does slide over ice very smoothly. But another really cool thing is, as you can see, it doesn't get destroyed yeah. when it hits flames. So we can reuse this block over and over. And sometimes that's great because we can take out a whole row of flames like what you see at the bottom. And sometimes that's less cool uh, because this gets stuck places and it blocks you from moving because you can't delete it. So you got to watch out for that and make sure you're working around it. The other thing it can do that regular ice cannot is it actually can cover up flame jars. So you see that jars on fire? Ah, not our problem anymore. That will protect us from it as we sort of drop things around throughout this level. Um, I believe you usually do a shout out here as well, given the background of this. Yeah, level. so I call this the flannel cat level because the background looks like a uh, flannel. Um, so shout outs to flannel cat. Very nice. Uh, with this, though, I think we've explained the black ice, so I do want to go back to donations because I did promise that after the boss fight. <laughs> so toss it back to you. Oh, oh yes, absolutely. Uh, what else is on fire is the uh, incentive ticker for Bonus World 11. Chat, you're doing a great job. We only need 1,200 more dollars to get this Bonus World 11 for Fire and Ice. That is 10 silly levels at the end of this run. We are running. We are quickly running out of time, so we gotta we gotta speed run a blazing trail to make it for this uh, bonus world eleven. That said, I do have a couple of donations that I would like to highlight. Firstly, fifty dollars from Oh Hey It's Kara that says. 34K, let's go Fatals! So good job, everyone, on getting to that 34K. That is awesome. And very excited as well for this next one. $25 from Unnatural, Unnatural 20. This is a very important distinction. What does Waluigi use for PC game input? I Mouse and Wasty. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> 10 out of 10. No <laughs> oh, that was, oh, 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 tell me when I have more because I've got some great ones going. Uh, how about you do a couple more now? I think okay. we're still just okay. messing with the black eyes. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So we have $10 from Levi. Wah, okay. wah, wah, wah. Great. Thank you for that. <laughs> so, fun fact, sometimes if you try to do your inputs too fast because of yeah. the way it's, like, frame-based, uh, it will, quote-unquote, eat your input, oh. which it's not, like, really eating it. It's just that you went too fast. Just a slight nibble. <laughs> We're finishing this one up. As you can see, the black eye is crucial there to make sure that the fire jar doesn't become an obstacle. And if we have two things attached, then it doesn't move either. One thing to note is black ice does not count as ice when it comes to sliding on itself, so it will stop on top of another of its kind. Everyone's about to look up and my brain just freezes. <laughs> It's like, I don't know that I'm following because there's so many movements happening and I'm trying to keep track of like, okay, why do we do this? Why do we do this? And the good news is I don't have to keep track because it just magically keeps going. You're getting brain freeze? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that is very accurate. I'll take that. Um, but this level is deceptively simple. It doesn't mean I could do it, but like compared to yeah. some of the other ones, it is a little bit. 
And the key thing is that we need to stick that black ice with regular ice so that when it falls down, we have a little platform for ourselves, which is quite nice. Because again, the black ice won't melt on the fire, so we can use it to sort of set up this little system here to give ourselves more surface area to take out that last fire. Yeah. And that brings us to boss fight for this world, which is long. Yeah. It has a lot of setup. <laughs> Yeah, um, and you'll notice on the sides, there's these flames that are carrying umbrellas. Um, they block ice dropped from above. So yeah, you gotta hit a them bit from of the pain. side. Yeah. They're really cute, though. Yes. So. I'm just gonna leave that one there for a bit. It's fine. <laughs> so as we got a whole bunch of staircases, we gotta go up. Lots of setup for this level in order to get everything where it needs to be to hit all of the moving enemies, the non-moving enemies. You'll see we have three different enemy types on screen, which I think might be the most you see in any yeah. of these levels at least. So plenty going on. But since this is a, a long one, we got some time. So any any more donations? I'm kind of scared to ask at times, but <laughs> I'd like oh. to hear them if they're there. Oh, excellent. Definitely. Do I have donations? I also would like to point out that we are almost halfway to bonus world 11 for this uh, run so please 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 chat when you're donating click the add button for the fire and ice bonus world 11 incentive with that we have 50 dollars from suave peanut for the national women's law center thank you very much for your donation <laughs> oh my goodness uh, fantastic I I don't think I can ever match the creativity of people who donate oh my to goodness, this event. I know, it's right? so amazing. Shout <laughs> <laughs> to all of you. You're amazing. Oh, all right. Closing in closer to the end of this one. But again, yeah. there's just... So this one's stuck, so... Uh, Bye. There. <laughs> now, the fun thing about this, the moving ones, the hitboxes are kind of wonky, so... Okay. Nice. nice. I... Sometimes it will just phase right through it. Which is terrible, because at that point, like, there's... You, that's a problem spot. We don't want yeah. it there. Yeah. This this level is easy. I It's it's too easy. I don't know why it's in <laughs> World 9. Like... Yeah. Look, there it is. Simple. Yeah. Like, I guess maybe they thought people would be, like, faked out by all the flaming jars. I don't know. <laughs> They do intimidate me, so I'll at least give them yeah, the credit yeah. for that one. And this I'm is just less encouraging simple. you to move on. You know, they don't <laughs> want you to get discouraged. <laughs> That's fair. And once again, we are in World 9 now. There are only 10 worlds that are on the official schedule for today. If you want that 11th world, you do need to donate now, because we're not going to have a lot of time. These worlds are a bit longer, but... Dijon is a speedrunner. Mm -hmm. That does make things mm -hmm. go a bit faster is what I've noticed, personally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think Absolutely. that makes sense. <laughs> and when donating, send me your cursed wall and I will read it. Like this amazing one, just prepare yourselves. I want everyone to brace. We have $10 from Kamikaze Granny. So this is trying to act cool while meeting someone new. Wow. <laughs> Right. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was exactly what that would sound like. Like, have you ever considered voice acting for Waluigi? Like, maybe Nintendo's looking out for someone like this. Hey, you know, if anyone out there is looking for some uh, creative wa acting, I'm here. You can you can <laughs> you look me up after call. the marathon. <laughs> you could you could always uh, get a job being a sad trombone. Oh. <laughs> all right, so this one we got some more black ice. And again, reminder that it does slide all the way across an icy surface. We were, If we were to push that one, it would have gone all the way across and then gotten stuck and blocked us off a little bit. So we don't really want to do that. Um, but here, the things to watch out for is that fire jar on the right. So if we were to just fling a regular ice all the way across, that wouldn't have done anything for us because it would have hit the fire. But because black ice stops on top of black ice, we can create sort of this backstop for this game of like ice hockey we're playing where we're just sort of <laughs> shooting ice blocks across the arena in order to build them up so we can create stairs to get to the part of the level where we can actually attack the one fire that we see here. There we go. Imagine doing that much work for one fire. Oh like, oh goodness. gosh. Definitely, definitely make it through. Oh, there's a whole bunch of things here. So biggest thing is just that we need to drop them all down and we need to be careful about some of the ordering. So we got to put some of them in the cubby. We just need to think through where everything needs to go and when. So this is another great spot where using some of that wall ice, moving things around, climbing up and down will give us a little bit of space to figure out how we want things to work. So we see we attach something here, go away. And now when we drop this, it stays on our head. So it doesn't block us off from entering. Look at right. that. <laughs> so nice and neat. Uh, 9.5 is going to be another... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. 
I was gonna say, it's... It's, it's like a, you know... A stack in computer stuff. <laughs> <laughs> first in, first out. I think that was... Except last in, first out, LIFO. I, it's been a while since I took that class in college. <laughs> You're right, though. Oh, I see you want to go back up there. Yeah, if you push the ice block in, it's great. You've destroyed the fire, but there is no way for you to climb back up. So while it looks like, why don't you just push the ice block to the right? We would be stuck there forever, and that would be very tragic, and yeah. that's not really what we want to be trying to do. So we have to do a whole bunch of extra maneuvering in order to both destroy that flame and give ourselves a way to climb back out. There we you go. You know what else Yay. would be tragic? Not meeting oh. this incentive. We have about $1,100 to go chat and we're running out of minutes. But we do have another fantastic Chad. donation from Empire. I'm allowed to read it. Yes, go for it. We have $50 from Zokuban. Drinks, hey. cold, wadi. Here we go. <laughs> Good luck, Dijon. And here's to the warping through that incentives to both Bonus World 11 because Waluigi totally wouldn't want that. I had a heart attack <laughs> thinking that Zokubud had donated the entirety of either hot or cold drinks, but replacing everything with wa. I was about to. <laughs> I was ready that. for it. Or do that, actually. Yeah. Donate if you'd like to. We'd like your donations. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. All right. I'm back. Um, that level was very order of operations, by the way. We did have to do the right side first. It would not have worked any way around. In this case, though, you can see there's three fire jars in the bottom right corner of your screen. That's obviously a problem for us yes. as ice space creatures. <laughs> so we do need to get these black ice blocks over to the right side so we can sort of make a bridge with them to unlock that spot where the flame is on the right. He's just kind of chill. He picked a pretty good secure spot to be in, but we got puzzle brains. So yeah. We're gonna figure this out anyway. It's always exciting to watch. Yes, please, please, please help us get that uh, bonus world 11 incentive. I think if we get it, we get close to 35K, which means we're even closer to the what towels takeover that we might be able to see later? <laughs> if we get bonus world 11, we will be well over the 35k and well on oh. our way to wah tails takeover. <laughs> That's even better. See, you need to make this happen. Chat, I believe in you. Please again get those donations in. Either we're on world seven, so, or sorry, not world seven, <laughs> world nine, level seven. This is fine. I, do you want to talk about this one instead? Um, yeah, we're basically just um, pushing black ice onto fire jars to make steps, pretty much. Um, exactly. And yeah, pretty pretty simple. <laughs> I mean, for a level not for, for a level game, right? world yeah. nine. <laughs> for what I'm doing, yes. Like, yeah, we're not really there. And again, you'll notice we had two of them next to each other, which lets us climb up, so we can get on top of it in order to go take out the one on the right. And again, you want to leave this this little friend over here for last. Don't want to be stuck down here. So this gives us everything we need to set up to take it out and move on to the next one. All right, we are back to tedious block dropping. Yeah, a bunch of stuff here. That one's kind of fun. I do like when we get to poof two fires at the same time. But since we've got a lot of these to take out, it's gonna kind of all be doing stuff that we've done before. Uh, Talzel, we like to jump over back to you. I am ready. We have a. $50 anonymous donation, no comment, but thank you so much. I see the total going up. We're now at 927 of the 2000 needed for bonus world 11 and it's, it's starting to gain momentum chat. You can you can help us with the walks. Um, we also have a $25 donation from Arboreal. Thank you very much for that donation. <laughs> Chad, feel free to donate with what your Waluigi username is. Yes, it's your username, please. But with as many was as you can reasonably fit into it. I will read any and all was. <laughs> like I said, in any cadence, uh, feeling, emotion, absolutely. Oh, we just hit 1,000 of 2,000 needed. Chad, see, I told yes. you you have a momentum. You can do this. I'll believe it. I believe too. Over how fun! I'm so excited. Yeah. We could definitely make this happen. We are on nine nine though, so again, please don't hesitate. You want to donate now? Don't leave it till the last minute. You can't leave it till the last minute. Actually, that is allowed. That is legally permitted. <laughs> I will just be stressed the entire time. <laughs> so that's You're fine. Gonna, don't stress us all. Tell us about your cursed tacos, your sad happy was, all the things, your Waluigi uh, usernames. Oh my goodness! I even have a taco. Can I? Re I'm reading taco donations. We're, I'm, I'm right. stepping in. We have. $25 <laughs> from Sparrow says curse tacos Denmark only sort of understands tacos so here's one from a local restaurant beef lettuce corn 
in quotes, Mexican slaw with question marks, lime, barbecue sauce, and mayo. Thank you so much for your donation. And absolutely, hold, okay, okay. Can everyone hold on to their Waluigi tacos for a moment? This is really important. <laughs> like, grab your Waluigi tacos tight because we just got a $1,050 anonymous donation that reads, more frame fatales? More frame fatales, which means we met the bonus World 11 fire yes. and ice oh. incentive. <laughs> and, and I would just nice. like to be the first to say, Wahoo! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much yes. to whoever sent in that $1,050 donation. I am so excited to see these Rule 11. Me too. Okay. We didn't get to see them <laughs> no, before. We have this no idea what time. they look like. We are so excited. <laughs> We're going to be the live reaction over here. Yeah. Just eyes open as wide as we can, <laughs> trying to take in all of this. Oh. Are we thinking for a second? I almost did something wrong. Ah, very nice. Again, this is one of our boss levels. You can see the screen wrapping in full effect here as we try to navigate around the stage. Yeah. And that's why we needed that open. Yes. We would have been trapped under here if we didn't do that. So yeah, I'm the, so glad you caught that. The first part of this one was really tight. I don't know if you noticed, but you've got to do a lot. And what I said before about like blocks not being, being if they're already there, they're fine. Yep. Um, I had to get that block there in enough time so that it would be there for me to come back to when we wrapped around to one cycle it. Exactly. Yeah. Plenty of thinking ahead. And this brings up our final world, except not quite because we get bonus, but final world for this run, at least. And this is world 10, and this is where you know things get intense. This is our final gauntlet. And we get the boss music the entire time. Every Which single level so here. It's so good. It's such a good song. No. Um, this has the longest and most complex stages in the game. Yes. Difficulty definitely ramps up. You can yeah. see it. Even on this level right away, uh, we're going to have to climb up that middle section. As you can see, we're sort of going down right now. We're going to have to come back up. And the issue is you need to leave this left side clear because we're going to need that later on. So you have to not even use all the blocks there. You got to be careful to sort of use the right side, keep the left side open so you can use it again. And just the amount of puzzling that goes into these oh, yeah. mm -hmm. is just incredible to get everything set up correctly. So I got to get rid of that so I can climb back up. Also, because the boss music is playing, my brain thinks the level should be moving. Mm -hmm. And so it just keeps pretending like there's stuff moving. I have to tell it to stop. Like, brain, no, this is a stationary stage. <laughs> also, we now have plenty of fangs on our fire again, which I can't yeah. just... Yeah, I don't, I don't understand how that works. Fire I with teeth? I think they're just regular teeth. <laughs> <laughs> don't think that makes it better for some reason. Uh... I don't know. Do you... Regular... Yeah. Um... Can you help, please? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know what else? We recently smashed that 35K marker. We're like well on the way yes. to 36,000 awesome. right now. And that is so amazing. I mean, I have so much more excitement to share because we have a $50 donation from Grubane. No comment, but thank you very much for your generosity. I would also like to highlight now that we're moving our way towards that $40,000 milestone incentive where Char Bunny and Genetisys will cosplay Waluigi for Waluigi's taco stand. But we also have that two for one Taco Tuesday because who doesn't want more tacos? If we meet the Waluigi's taco stand two for one Taco Tuesday, then the runners will eat a taco, an actual legitimate taco after their 15 taco race. And we will also unlock a bid war to choose their ingredients. I hope there are some cursed ingredients in there, but unless we meet the incentive, we will not find out. So be sure to donate, Chad. <laughs> uh, yeah, there might be some, there might be some cursed ingredients. Uh, we may have talked to Fu yesterday and may have mentioned, maybe we mentioned the word eyeballs. I won't, I won't say anything more than that. Oh no. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway. Time two, we're gonna drop this whole stack of blocks. You can see there's a whole bunch of black ice and that one fire with an ice block right next to it. We just need to get to there and push it. Yeah. But there's this whole mess in the way. So first off, we need to put our construction hat on and build some infrastructure on the right side of the screen to give us our way in and out. And we're gonna have to build some infrastructure. There's just so much stuff we have to build up because as you can see, we're gonna have to push things off, come down, push them off again as a sort of waterfall pattern off to the left to get them in that alcove. But if we push stuff down and we can't get to it, it gets stuck, then we're not making any progress. And of course, we can't push anything else right now because there's two blocks next to each other. So now we can start to kick them down. There we go. 
Now we can go back up, do some more. Oh no, we're gonna go down next, sorry. Go down, clear some of these out because you can see there's a little bit more space off to the left. I feel like this is what it was like last time I tried to move and pack. Yeah. And I realized how much stuff I had. <laughs> Felt bad for the people helping me out on that one. Shout out to my cousin, you're great. <laughs> It is satisfying to hear the sound effects as they go down. And I love that we have one left. We can't yeah. quite go up yet. You gotta go yeah. with the one block. The, that one's there for like, if you move that, if you don't put that first block in the right place, oh, that yeah. one it will just... get you in the end. It's like, you ever play a King's Quest game and you get like halfway through it and then it turns out that, um, oh, I can't beat the game. Oh, yeah, uh, just... I messed up. Why would we actually beat the game? Who does that? <laughs> Oh, so here again, fire jars are back. We only have one black ice, though, so we're going to have to be pretty careful to maneuver around and not get our ice eaten by the other one. Just making a whole stack, planning things out for later. So I like to think of it as like filling in a backpack. Just yeah. Like stock up for your yeah. little adventure into the mountains. I also like the little corners they put on this level. Again, purely decorative. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It just looks kind of nice, you know? Yeah. Thanks for a good viewing experience. Yeah. I appreciate that they took into account that this game would one day be run in a Fatales marathon. <laughs> I really went above and beyond for the viewing audience at home. Absolutely. I really like the pattern in the background, like the hounds do. Hounds oh, do. yeah. Yeah. The pattern on this level is so cool. Yeah. Again, you do see that one on the right there, but we can't quite go to it yet. Um, again, order we're, of operations. We're going to set that up. Come on leave that there for later. Um, but you'll Ooh. notice that if we were to push that one now, we might not be able to get back out. So even though it's so tempting to just go over there and take care of that flame, that is a trap. We don't want to go for those. We're smarter than that. Learned our way around. Evolution has prepared us for moving <laughs> ice blocks. Sometimes I start to say something and I realize that doesn't actually make any sense. I just stop. You know what evolution has prepared me for? For, for was. That's what evolution that is has prepared me I for. I love that yeah. that is your evolutionary gift and you're sharing it with all of us. Please Absolutely. grace us with was. So, we have a $15 donation from Pocket Jawa, which reads, My name was made for this. Pocket Jawa. Jawa. <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you for sharing and your Waluigi name. Go for it. One more. I would. I just also want to point out that we do have, and it's all in the it's all in the realm of tacos. We have that open character name choice bid war for mail time, and currently number one is Taco. You are more than <laughs> welcome to put your your donations towards that bid war incentive, and maybe you know choose a, a, a cursed topping or or a cursed wa. Those are all options. I believe we have a twenty character limit, so the world is your waster. That's like 18 A's in WA. I'm yeah, just saying. Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying. That was a free math break, Chad. <laughs> also in free math, I think this level has like nine flames in it, which may be the most we've seen so far. That's not the most in the entire game. Uh, but that's still, once again, showing how World 10 really does take it up a notch in terms mm -hmm. of difficulty. I also like how it's all in brackets. <laughs> I think the pipes just want yeah. to fill brackets. Yeah. Like, little, little side note here for this one. Again, order of operations, crucially important to make sure that we get things on the right side at the right time. We can't just go whatever direction we want, even though there's so many options of flames to choose from. There is a correct order and we do need to follow it. So you can see us setting up a ton of things over here on the right. We'll finish out the level over there on the left. I love when we clean up ice and it's just like, okay, bye, yeah, you're done yeah, now. Yeah. Hey, do you know who my favorite YouTuber is? Oh. Scott the Waz. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> That was beautiful. All right, as we finish up this left side, Tazla, I'd like to go back over to you. Oh, please. Because I'm very excited about this $5 donation from Smokey of the Wa, which, you know, is very appropriate. I cannot wah to see these bonus levels. Now we need to get Taco Tuesday met to see Chwa Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I was so cursed. Please, chat, we need $40,000 raised for the National Women's Law Center to see Chwa, buddy. <laughs> Donate to have you say that. that again, please. <laughs> Can't wait till that's what the tech team decides my name plate is. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And it's decided. <laughs> Shout out to the tech team, by the way. We love you. Yeah. I'm trying to do a heart, but I don't think you can see it because I'm behind the monitor. Anyway, we got one flame left to go. Just one more little, I would say friend, but not really. They're not really friendly. No. I one think more. they can hide, but. <laughs> nope. Laser focused here on them. We got this all covered. Also, if you listen closely um, uh, with the boss music. Um, with the level ending part? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. 
when you finish up a level, there's a fanfare that plays. We're up to 25 now. That's for charity, though. National Women's Law Center doing great work. Let's go. Um, so what we're talking about is at the end of a level, there's a fanfare that plays, sort of a congratulations that you finished the level and everything. But this is, again, an NES game. Came out late in the NES life cycle, 1993, if I remember correctly. And so there's only so many instruments that can actually handle. And you'll actually hear some of the background instruments from the music cut out when that occurs. Yep. The fanfare takes one of the channels. <laughs> Oh, this one's fun. I, I don't know if it's actually fun to play. I just think okay. it looks cool with how beautiful it is at the start, but how complex it is to do. So this is yeah. one of those yeah. spots where we take advantage of sticking ice to other ice in order to carefully control what blocks we want where, when. Yeah, what? so We're this one to is going to be in timeout, stuck to the wall. So this is like when you, like, put your tongue on a cold pole in the wintertime <laughs> as a child. Like, We're sticking it to like, ice. Like a Christmas story. Yeah. Yep, exactly. You know, so we had to make that little block on the right, got to climb back up. But what we're trying to do, in case it wasn't obvious, is we're taking all of these black ice blocks, putting them on top of the fire jars, because we need to actually build a bridge over to this one flame who has gotten over there. He probably is the reason they're all on fire. He probably hopped across all yeah. of them and mm -hmm. jumped up there. Yeah. Which yeah. Is, this is very destructive, which is very fun. <laughs> but again, we're not playing a game where the fire is nice. The whole point is that it's Drudel, I think it's The fire is Drudel. nice. Uh -huh. I see. <laughs> I see. Um, the evil wizard sent yeah. all this fire out to come attack the town and everything, which is why we got to go take it all out. We need to save Cool Mint Island. Very, very important. I have to say that I've been singing in my head through fire and flame, like the whole time we've been doing this very <laughs> chill Ness puzzler. So <laughs> far been going away. Because it's a speed run, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's so much fun. I, I play a lot of rock band and Guitar Hero. Uh, I was super into it when it was big, still super into it now. Yeah. That song is one of the songs of all time. <laughs> Definitely a classic. Should be canon for the speed run. <laughs> right. Okay, almost there. Yep. So to make one more little ice block. You don't have to use the final black ice. You can't really get to it now anyway. Yeah. Now that we can slide across, it, we can use that. It's in a, oh. it, it starts out in the corner, so it doesn't really uh, go anywhere. <laughs> all right, pipes, pipes. Back. <laughs> This is actually my favorite pipe in the entire game is that bottom right one because it's so squiggly. Very good Look pipe. at us go through it. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> <laughs> So That's happy. the sound effect. I could, you know, I could do a wah sound effect uh, to to Char's sound effect. If someone can donate it in words, I will make that attempt. You want to <laughs> donate five dollars and say, "Can we get a wah in the style of pipe bouncing?" <laughs> Please, I would love yeah. to hear how that works. I will do my All best. Right. I promise. Thank you. Thank you. I trust Chad Post the Honor. so we can make this happen. <laughs> Post honor. That's a really serious one, so I know it's going to happen. <laughs> Uh, with this, with any time we have pipes again, we're mostly worried about where we're going to land and how we can set up safe landings for us. So you see sort of a block of ice attached on the bottom left side of the screen that sets falling out of that pipe. And of course, as we do all of this, we have to keep destroying the flames because there's so many of them and they keep showing up again and we keep having to get rid of them. I don't know how many total flames do you think are in the game? Oh, I have Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even know. Uh... We, we didn't say there was going to be a yeah, chat, quiz at the end of the speed been... run. It's more like a guess the number of jelly beans in yeah. the jar thing. Uh, okay, okay. What does the closest one get? A taco? I, I want a taco. Uh, I can't send tacos through the internet, unfortunately. I don't think that technology exists. You get a very large thumbs up. So, right, this is only for the person who guesses closest, and I won't know who that is because I don't know how many flames are in the game. But everyone else, don't look while I do this thumbs up. Ready? Okay, I see. Everyone can look back now. If, if you were the one who guessed as close as, come back and watch the bot so you can get your thumbs up. That was a blink and you miss it moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're back with our best friend stacking ice on top of each other, but this one's going to take a little bit longer just with how many times we have to go through all of these pipes. So, Tazel, I'd like to, to give you another chance to whatever you've got. I know we've got some variety going on. Okay, so I, I've got a $10 <laughs> donation from... V Agent Zero. Surprising things to put in a taco that are actually good. Zucchini flowers, beef tongue, pork skin, corn s smut fungus, cactus. Give them a try sometime. I would say like the first three things I've heard of and then we went into a world that I <laughs> have no longer experienced <laughs> in a taco. So yes, chat, get your, get your 
it can be a cursed taco creation like my gluten-free hot dog taco. Or it could be your favorite random ingredient in a taco. Or you can make me wah in the tune of however you write it out. And you can put whatever you put down. <laughs> whatever you put down. And you can put those uh, your donations to our open bid wars. We have a character color choice for mail time. Currently, green is winning with $15, but there's also blue. So if you're team blue, you know, get those donations in. And we also have the character name choice for mail time. You have 20 characters to do your worst with. Currently, Taco oh is gosh. in the lead. I leave it to and you, chat. Back to you. We're going to play. We're going to play Angry Birds for a moment. Boom. Okay, we played Angry Birds. <laughs> you thought, right? The structure, I think you mentioned before, the green is kind of like the pig color. So it just really works with this whole theme. <laughs> I love how high we have to go all the way back up. It's like the, yep. the, the plane yeah. was right there. So that's we why so we close. have to make sure to uh, make those uh, two block stair things. There we go. All right, 10 9. Uh, if you're guessing how many flames, you have to up your number by 11 here because that's how many <laughs> flames are in this level. They're just everywhere. I don't know why they put so many of them in, but it is the final non boss level, so I can see that. And they're all the teeth type, too. <laughs> and they're all the first <laughs> type, you're right. <laughs> oh, the bottom left section in particular is pretty tricky because there's just so many different things to do and to make sure get exactly right. So I always have trouble with this bottom left corner. It's just rude. And again, it's not like you can put it off for later. Order of operations continues to be important. So we're going to tackle this one first, even though it's awful. And then we can go back and do the rest of the 20 million flames on this entire <laughs> level. I love that there's flames in jars. Do we count the flames in jars as flames for the jelly bean count, do you think? Oh, that's uh, a good You don't have to get rid I of the flames in jars for... Uh, ah, okay. No, yeah, that, that makes good sense. That's right. yeah. I'm glad we got our answer there. I, I just, I have to let you know that it's happening. It's happening and I have oh? to do this now. This is very important. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm ready. We've got $5 from Chibi Scala. It says, all right, squiggly pipe wall, let's go. Okay, so here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I can trace that with my mind as you said it. That was fantastic. Thank you so much. Oh, and thank you, of course, for donating for that. I appreciate it because I really did want to hear that, and it was so worth it. So I appreciate that so much. I don't know how I feel. That's also a very valid reaction to what's going on right now. <laughs> all right, we did clear out that bottom left section, which is fantastic. So now we have to work our way back around the stage to get all of these remaining flames. We are going to be coming up on that final level soon, which is going to be interesting. Uh, but this is really part of the final boss of the game. So this is like the biggest, most complex, I think, that this, this game gets outside of that bonus world that you all donated for, which again, we are so excited to yes. see. Oh, now it goes on the jar. It's like, My this brain is, is jar, starting yeah. to be like, okay, that's enough uh, puzzle for now. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We're getting close here. The good news is my brain pieced out like two hours ago, so we're fine. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't have to play the video games. So yeah, yeah. I, I have to play Taco Stand later tonight, which I'll... We'll figure it out by then. We'll figure it out by then. So I'll just we'll channel the power of Waluigi. Probably now. less puzzle in that. There's I would way imagine. less puzzle. There is way more taco, though. I, I was going to say, there better one. be taco. Lots and lots of taco. There, there is I, taco. There could be IRL tacos if, if the incentive goods met, too. Uh, yeah, we'll to perhaps see. two for be. one taco. I was just about to say that. Could, could be. How are we doing on that one? You know, we're doing really well on two for one taco right now. We're sitting at $1,080 of the 1500 oh. needed. So we just need j just over $400 to make the runners. So that's geneticist and Chwar Bunny eat a that. taco <laughs> after their 15 taco race. And if we unlock that, we will then unlock a bid war to choose the taco ingredients. And, and Char has promised me that there is at least one cursed ingredient. I, I heard it here. That. Yeah, you did just about 15 minutes ago. You remember? Mildly <laughs> regretting that. We're not going to worry about it. We're almost done with this level, though. We're so close on finishing this one up. It's just stacking everything. A big, in the lot room. of dosy -si dough over here. Right. Got to get this one set up. And now one more. And now it's the final boss. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Do you want to talk about this one? Do you want me to kick it off? <laughs> you can kick it off. Go ahead. <laughs> We're teamwork in this one. Yeah, yeah. All right, so the final boss. You think after all this buildup, like, we get there, and it's it's all epic. Oh. And it's uh, just this. Behold, the underwhelming. 
It's, yeah. There's a, there's a flame. It, does, it is the teeth one, so that does make it a little bit yes. uh, scarier, as you but can see. we're not quite at time yet. No? Because we're going to go straight to fight Drudel himself. Which will final boss! Yeah. Drudel! All right, so this one, the game pauses you for a second because you're just going to show you an attack pattern. So he does this little sign, and then that fire snakes through. Everything is possible that fire goes through, and that's what unlocks us to actually play the level. Yeah. Now, the good news is we know where that fire pattern is, but we do have to make sure we're moving fast enough to not be in a spot that's going to cause problems for us when that attack activates. So you can see it coming through now, rudely destroying the fire that we, or the yeah. ice that we just made. The key thing here is we need to hit that staff over there. So you see that staff flashy weak point there? We need to hit that bottom, dare I say eyeball, on the <laughs> staff five times, five whole times. And very rudely, you can only stack four ice blocks. So we have just stacked up four ice blocks, ready to scoot on over towards that staff. But we're going to have to go around and do this a second time. So there's one, two, three, four. And I believe time is on the final hit. Yep, so we're getting pretty close. Time will be close. on the fifth one. All right. We do have to, once again, park for a moment to make sure. Oh, oh no. I that went was too fast. I think we're up spot. to 25 now. I think you're at 30. So is it 30? Yeah. I think it's 30. OK. I mean, it's your money, so whatever yeah. you'd like to do. <laughs> Um, yeah, the other the other thing worth noting is he does like a little countdown. You can see on his hands he goes one, two, three, and then the flame spits out. So you kind of have a little bit of a um, time yeah, indicator. I noticed it was counting. Yeah, it's That's really so good. Cool. Yeah. But uh, when it, the countdown uh, or count up, I guess because yeah. it goes up, um, happens. It like immediately freezes your controls, just like pushing blocks or, you know, anything. Right. Until that resolves. I like how we duck the fire too. Yeah. The little duck animation. That's yeah. yeah. Well done. I'm just gonna wait and play yeah, it safe. Yeah, that's fair. That's very fair. I know. I was looking can, at that, and like my heart was starting to pound. Uh -huh. a little, like I don't know. About this. You can go faster, um, but it's like playing with fire, basically. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. See what you did there? Um, so I got, should be safe here. Nice. And we got that one block down there. That's going to be our final block. So we are super close right. on time. Looking out for that. All right. And time. Yeah. GG's. Congratulations. And that is fire and Ooh. ice. Amazing <laughs> GG's on that run. That was fantastic. I love these games. And then uh, we get to the ending and then the credits. Uh, we're not probably not going to sit here for the whole credits, uh, but um, if when you get to the end and it's on the the end screen, if you sit there long enough, it goes. But wait, there's more, <laughs> and it tells you the code to uh, access the bonus levels, which we're about to do. All right, so this is the part where again I've had notes for this entire run. Yeah. So Check we're going to hold select. I have no idea. <laughs> <and press. laughs> have fun with it. Can I, can I do a donation to send us off? Because I feel like it's important to the, to the, what yes. we've achieved here. Okay. Yeah, actually. Okay. So this is perfect. So right before we get started with this, this is okay. very, this is so perfect. Sorry. We have $10 from Ajax Unlimited. Can we get some Waz to the tune of Through Fire and Flames by Dragon Force? Oh okay. So here, 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 here okay. we go. Okay. Right. Okay. And now we have our bonus incentive. I don't know why, but that sounded like a Final Fantasy music. Do you want to give us the countdown for this next bonus section? Yeah, so we're going to start in three, two, one, go. Okay. I can't okay. Let's, notice that there's let's, a lot Let's of get a donation. <laughs> get a donation. Absolutely. We have $50 from Mecha Momo. <laughs> Wah, and I cannot stress this enough. Ah, love you, Fatals. Less than three. <laughs> I think uh, we have time for another one. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We have $25 from Robot's Friend. No comment, but thank you so much for your donation. We've also opened a new incentive to deliver Max's hat. This is for mail time. So if met, a 20-something loser will deliver Max the capybara's hat that he sadly lost during the mail time run. So if you would like to make a sad capybara happy, please put your donations towards that incentive. 
They kind of left one for oh, you. No. So we, we beat that in two seconds. <laughs> clearly, clearly. Clearly, then we talk about actions have to resolve first. Mm -hmm. oh, and the, the actions freeze the timer. Got it. I like how we're on the nice thing. Like tiny, the tiny little box. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, they're already on fire. This makes things interesting. Oh, we're just gonna make ourselves a little platform. The border's really cool, so we got a little dots. Yeah. I don't know why I went all the way up there. <laughs> Dial points. You were Actually, compelled. Weird, yeah, normally you could use like the left side platform, but you just can't stand on, also, a, yeah. on fire fire. Also, a thing jar. you never do in the actual game, uh, stick a, a flame to the side of a... Uh, thick ice to the side of a flaming jar. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Doesn't come up in the regular game. It's very well. It's like, oh, look at yeah. this one. This, this might be my new favorite pipe. pipe. Yeah. Oh, my new favorite yeah. Pipe. What do you think the wall would sound like for that pipe? <laughs> do you want me to try or do you want people to donate again? <laughs> well, you know, we do We do want to meet this $40,000 milestone to see Chwar Buddy and Geneticist in Luigi, oh, no. Waluigi cosplay. So, you know. Oh, no. But not against the fire. donations. Yeah. <laughs> this Good thing animation. puts you, like, right in right the, the line, line of, of fire. fire. Oh, oh, very nice. Yeah, we definitely want this incentive. With this level, uh, there's just kind of just kind of swimming back and forth. A little casual stroll. Yeah, kind of I, love, I love these little guys. That They're so cute. Hanging, or is that so. too much? <laughs> I bet they make a cute wah. Oh, they probably do. I wonder what type of wah the little fire makes. Oh, gosh, you're, like, racing it to the other side yeah. there. <laughs> oh, wow. Talk about speed running. All right, we just gotta All wait right. for it to come back across. Yeah, this, one, this one's got a lot of uh, weight. It's okay. It's it's trying its best. Kind of like it's swimming. We had such mm. fun water games earlier today. <laughs> kind of in that zone still. It's like a little fire tadpole. Oh gosh, you have to get all the way across before it comes back. Uh, okay, I'll just no, that's good. Yeah, that's a better idea. <laughs> wait, was that I a duck? Died right there, just letting you know. Is it a duck? You can duck. Yeah, the game will just duck if there's fire over here. He you. automatically ducks because oh. of the way that his sprite extends past the, um... Right? Yeah. It's really cute, too. That I love is that so they did cute. That. It's a cute little duck. <laughs> All right, one more to go. And Very nice. These are such pretty levels. Yeah. I yeah. love how they look. Oh. There's some interesting stuff in the bonus levels. Um, I... I highly recommend not only playing this, which if you have a Nintendo Switch online, at least in the U.S., uh, you have access to this game. That's what I'm playing it on right now. Because um, the actual uh, game itself is uh, kind of rare. Uh, last time I saw a copy of it was in, like, a uh, Houston uh, Game Over. I just lost the feed. Oh, okay, oh, it's now it's okay, back. Okay, it's back. <laughs> <laughs> now there's just a moment there. Yeah. It's like, oh, we... that's all right. We'll figure it out. <laughs> and that's why I'm glad it doesn't play in real time. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you had to do that running section. That was pretty real time. We're just doing blindfolded oh. speed runs now. <laughs> all right, why not? That's fine. That's like we could do. Oh, okay. I like. I think I don't know how to solve these, so it's so much fun to see how yeah. they actually get solved. It's like, I, I can't tell you what's happening until it happens. I'm trying to predict, and my brain goes like, not at all. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't make it either. <laughs> oh, wait, we can push that one into the fire. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. predicted one thing, chat. Let's I'm go. so proud of myself right now. <laughs> oh, Watch amazing out, my ego job, just tripled Char. in size. <laughs> Can you read a donation, please? <laughs> Absolutely. We have $25 from Rarest. No comment, but thank you for that donation. And with that, we are currently sitting at 35500 So, chat, you are doing a fantastic job. I would like to point out there that uh, this character name choice for mail time, Taco is still winning. I want to see some cursed taco or cursed wa name choices in that character name choice incentive. You have 20 characters to play with, chat. They Do, can happen. I feel like yeah. someone can make taco into a wa somehow. I don't you know can. How. I mean, I mean, if you want to donate how, and make me away. do taco oh. into a wa, I will do my best. So that's also an option. Sounds like Dishon has the sauce too. So like, <laughs> I guess, Ooh, I guess when I do my death donation, I'll have to... You have to throw it in. <laughs> That's fantastic. 
right. I, I'm just honestly really glad the flames don't have teeth. I, yeah, I me think too. That's me part too. of what's making this feel so cozy for me right now. Yeah. <laughs> just, you're, you're giving the social media team so many bad ideas right now. Uh oh. Hi, social media team. Good luck. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Feel free to follow us on an Instagram account. We got a Twitter account. <laughs> trying to think of what else we've got. But follow she's the social media chief. I'm missing anything. <laughs> All right, that's one flame down. This one's. I want to say it's heart shaped, but like only if you really squint at it. It's like, totally it's heart shaped. Like the one half. Yeah. <laughs> I believe. Oh, it's we got a boss for our bonus level yeah. too. Great. Yeah, the bonus worlds have bosses. Oh, is this oh, it? Is I... this the end? This is the this last, is our one. last this is level 10. Bonus level. Are there only two flames or are there more hiding? Oh my goodness. There's like two stacked ice yeah. over there. I'm just like so curious what that ends up doing or if that's a red herring and I'm I just know. Yeah, for it. there's so many of those in this game too. Like. Right? I feel like I would, there's no way I'm going to guess who's the murder mystery person for like the whole theme we've got. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, it's not going to be a chat. Feel free to guess, but all right. Okay, we're wrapping back around. Climb up the staircase. Two blocks. What are? They? I'm so intrigued. You can't even get back to them. Who's missing? Well, it's gonna wrap, so we have to get back at some oh, point. That's I right. just don't know when. I forgot about the wrap. I know. And the reminder that the flames don't take out the ice on wrap, so those yeah. ice things are not in danger of going away. They're staying there. Oh, there's the flame again. Okay. I like how much suspense there is now because we're to wait for this. Like, I just want to know yeah. what happens. <laughs> I'm terrible. When I read murder mystery books, I always flip a few chapters ahead at times because I'm like, I can't handle the tension right now. What? Yeah. Not great. Oh I know. my this goodness. Is, I know. <laughs> this secrets. Is why I know. True deep <laughs> secrets coming Don't out tell over anyone. here. Don't tell okay, anyone. Okay, got it. Okay, it's safe just, with us. Just between us. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No okay, problem. Understood. That. Okay, we're almost back to where it is. This is the staircase that leads up to those two blocks of ice that I'm now incapable of not thinking of. Watch the blocks. Just, we pushed one. Okay. Okay. Do we climb next? We did a climbing. Okay. We got rid of one. <laughs> and? There we go. And that's time. <laughs> yeah. GG. And, yep, there's, uh, goes up to, there's, so there's five worlds, so round 15 would be the last world. Uh, but if you want to see those, you'll have to play them for yourself. <laughs> it's very nice. <laughs> You play play through the whole game first because it's a good game, and I'm I guarantee that you you did not spoil a game by watching me play through it all because you're not going to remember all those solutions <laughs> yeah. because yeah, I no. barely remember them and I do the fast. <laughs> well, congratulations on that. Any shout outs you want to give at the end here? Uh, shout outs to my couch, Metroid Crime, Char Bunny. Thanks for having. Me. Um, super fun. Yeah, that's it's just I'm just keep it short and simple. All right. And if you want to shout out anyone. I mean, shout outs to chat. The donations coming in were absolutely incredible. Yeah. Thank you so much for meeting the incentive for the bonus world. Yeah. Very I'm working with you. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 It was great having y'all. All right. Thanks, everyone. Yeah.